Welcome to the field day for the Dutch Hacker Camp SHA 2017. So we'll try to keep the stuff that happens in this tent pretty short and uh, we'll try to maximize the time walking around. Um, yeah, welcome that you're all here. It's nice to see that many people. I was a bit afraid that the interest in the whole thing wasn't uh, that big. This day today is really the most important day because today the real organization of the uh, camp starts. Before I, some of those PT, uh, of your teams have complained that I have been keeping you slightly back, some more, some less. Uh, now we have, or well, it looks very good that we have the site, and now we have something to plan, and now we have something to walk around, and I think now is the moment where we will go in the full organizational mode and start running up the camp. It's now one year minus one week till the camp, so we have less than a year now. Um... And yeah, we will start today by Mum having a motivational speech. After that, we will uh, introduce the new Sanity people. And then we would like to have a one to two minute introduction from uh, the teams, what their status is and what their biggest needs are mostly. Thank you. And let's have an awesome day. So, yeah. Hi, I'm Mum, dear friends, dear, dear foes, and dear people that I haven't met yet. I would like to tell you about something that I found last week at EMF camp. Because I was fortunate enough to travel in the Josmobile to EMF camp in Guildford, along with Jos and Bugblue. Despite that, we arrived safely. And <laughs> <laughs> I know, you always try, that's good. And yeah, you know, arriving at a hacker camp, all these hackers camps are the same. They're all also very, very different. So I found a lot of great people there doing their stuff, having fun, showing off the things they made, drinking, laughing, dancing. There was music and there were lights. Oh God, the lights. The lights are so pretty. There's the LEDs, there's the flames, there's the electro wire, there's the, the lasers. But really the, the lights are just a visual representation of what happens underneath. But because what's happening underneath is a spark. It's the spark of being creative. It's a spark of having fun. It's a spark of forging connections. Connections be between people, between ideas. And this is where I found something that I didn't realize had been missing. And it was my motivation for Shah. Because up till then, my motivation had been lukewarm. It had been coming from the head, not from the heart. It had been like, okay, yes, the world needs event like, events like these. So we're going to do this. Yes, okay, I'm in. We're good. But then that spark hit me. And I was like, okay, the world needs events like these. I'm in. We're going to do this. So, okay, I'm stepping up as a team lead for Deco. And I'm going to blow on that spark until it lights up the sky. And I hope you're all with me. Thank you. So all the new Senate team people, please up in front here. Yes, we had a quite a, since the last meeting, we had quite some drama on the mailing list. Uh, a bit with sanity changed. I think that's a kind of a rough understatement, understatement. But we got quite a lot of new people for that. So at least this drama had one, thi one good thing. More people saw the need to actually stand up and actually do something and commit themselves for the whole event. So three of them of the new ones are here. Um, and we have two that are that left the video. As uh, Ralf will maybe show up today at 10-ish. Uh, um, and Ralf and Attila, uh, Ralf and uh, Oscar both made a video? Only Rolf. Okay. Oscar, you know, probably anyway, so. Okay. Uh, you want to start with the video? So we do, uh, do a hijacking of the audio here with the mic. Let's see what happens. I hope it works. Hi. 
My name is Rob van der Krul. I live in Wallingsveen with my wife and my cat. I thought I'd introduce myself because I won't be able to attend the field day today. Uh, and I am a part of the project lighting team. Uh, so that warrants an introduction, doesn't it? I'm a self-taught programmer who specializes in web technology. I mostly work with Drupal currently at Hoppinger. I work there as a web developer. I have experience at organizing Drupal Jam for the last three years. Drupal Jam is the Dutch conference for Drupal developers in the Netherlands and Belgium. After three years, I wanted a new project to invest my time in, and I heard awesome stories also from people from the Drupal community about OHM in 2013. When I heard about Shah, I wanted to be in. I introduced myself on IRC, and shortly after that, I was on the phone with Elgar Stitch, as you know him, and uh, he asked me to join the project lighting team. It sounded like a great challenge, so I took it up. Uh, and somehow now I am responsible for four of the teams in uh, the whole project. So uh, that will be a busy time ahead, but I like it. I wish you all a marvelous field day, and I hope to be there for tonight for a cold beer around the fireplace. Hope to see you then. So there was one of the, uh, obviously, can't come. But those three, they could. Yes. I think it's unreadable anyway if you're sitting that f uh, far back. That is paper that can be tilted. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have three people here. Uh, we're going to start with them. I'm going to give the microphone to Attila to start with an introduction. You possibly know him anyway. So, uh, well, apparently I have to introduce myself, which I didn't know, thank you. <laughs> so, I'm Attila, most of you already know me. Um, and, well, uh, I joined the project team. And, um, yeah, I know, that's on a pad. And I uh, complained about communication through pads, remember? Um, but <laughs> well, uh, so I'll be uh, doing some of the infrastructure things. Um, uh, or at least uh, uh, be responsible for that, uh, which means the tent, sanitary, uh, uh, power, and knock and stuff. Those uh, two teams mostly handle themselves anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, well, that's it. Hi, my name is Damlai, or in IRC you can know me like that, or Melinda. I also joining to the project lighting team and you can know me from OM. I have experience to help out with uh, different conferences like CCC or FOSDEM. I'm mostly on the communication team. So if you have any question, you can find me along the campsite. Yep. Okay. My name is Mr. Seeker or Julius, if you try to do, yeah, do something else. Um, some call me Mr. Speaker, Mr. Sneaker, uh, Mrs. Eaker. I uh, have heard a lot of names, but Mrs. Seeker is my handle. Um, I mostly I came here because uh, just after the whole rang bang with everything from uh, from project lighting, they they said to me, you know, you have experience with organizing events. Um, are you willing to join? My experience mostly with. Um, with outdoor events. I don't have too much uh, experience in organizing uh, things like OM and stuff, but I hope to find out, uh, yeah, if I, I hope to do it uh, and to help uh, the future events also. Okay, status of the organization. That's you. Yeah. So, uh, where we are at now. 
Um, we currently have a nice contract for this site. We've called with uh, scouting yesterday to go over the contract because we had 20 questions or something. Um, and we are clearing that up. Uh, also, we have uh, good contacts with the CCC to make sure that uh, uh, they, they, they want to help us and in any way we need. So uh, we are looking into that. Um, we we thought first that we needed to lend some money to rent a site, but we have changed things in the contract, which makes it easier for us. And we will do a, a small down payment and start paying in February when the ticket sales is open and it, we actually have money, so that's good. Uh, for the rest, um, well, that that's the hard stuff. Um, we will go over the teams and um, how many people are in the teams and how many you need. So we have somewhat a picture of uh, how many people we are short. One of the things we do need uh, is people for renting stuff, uh, tents, uh, power, uh, like physical things. That's really one of the yeah, core issues that we have. So we hope to fix that today. Um, for the rest, yeah. I think we're pretty fine. It's like 100 people here and we needed 150 persons to have a, have a solid organization. So uh, given that we are one year away from our event, it looks uh, solid. So yay, hooray. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> Thank you for showing up. So I won't keep you any longer because we do have to walk around and then we go to the teams the teams and I'll, I'll get the signs and then the, yeah. qu the question is how many people are on your team uh, how many pe how many people do you need so that there's redundancy in the team and uh, are there any other things that are currently really necessary to have in your team okay, I call the teams and you pick the sign volunteers Stein what? <laughs> I saw several people from the volunteering team. Hello? <laughs> I'm Stein. I'm Stein, I'm from Volunteers and we're cur currently with the three of us. I'm not sure we need any people right now, but we need some more Orga later on. And we, I didn't, I didn't quite know we had to do this, so. Okay, well. So the idea is, hello? The idea is that everybody of you that doesn't have a team there yet can see the people with the signs so you know who to walk to later on. Bugblue, food court and vendors. Yeah, actually the team currently doesn't really need volunteers. Uh, we do need input in case of numbers, names of food vendors uh, you like. Please drop them in my mailbox or my wiki, in my pocket, in form of physical paper, things like that. You don't have any pockets. <laughs> <laughs> co co come here, I do have pockets, I'll show you. Um, and, and I have uh, another guess. Um, thing is, uh, there's a bar here, they have drinks, uh, you already noticed it probably, over there. Um, the Hack42 cash desk is running here, so if you dropped money last time, it's still valid. Um, if you're short on money last time, you're, you're still short. <laughs> <laughs> um, al also, they will sell um, the barbecue tickets later on, so uh, people at the food know who paid. Um, we don't know the price yet, so you cannot pay yet. But uh, that will be fixed in the uh, meantime. And you get a nice wristband with the Shah logo. Team Deco? Moom was just here. Moom is at our tent. Okay. So, since Deco has two parts anyways, there's a design part and there's a production part. And I'm the team lead of the production part, so why not? Um, basically, we've already started, we've already made these signs. <laughs> so, hurrah! <laughs> 
so um, at the moment we uh, need ideas and people, uh, not that many, but mainly ideas of what we can fill the terrain with. So, um, but mainly we're waiting for the design to be completed to sort of everything fits the design and then we'll uh, continue further on. Team content. Team content. There they are. <laughs> you want me to speak la uh, not that loud? Okay, I will. Okay. Hi, I'm Walter, and um, these are my fellow loudmouths from Team Content. Right now, we have about 10 people. We're not even sure we want many more people. Uh, our most pressing needs are now uh, communicating the call for participation to have it public somewhere next week, hopefully. And uh, so basically, we need some thoughts on communication and uh, are talk talking to the communication team for that. And it would be lovely to have a proper website. Some it's, there. It's, there. it's new. It's new. Okay. Uh, uh, th thanks for communicating that in advance. Um, <laughs> um, uh, okay. Um, th thanks. For yeah. Uh, also, we are going to be putting uh, together a budget um, so that the board will know what sort of funds we'll need to fly in all cool speakers. And of course, like three years ago, we're hoping we get another Snowden to spiffy up the event, but we can't promise that, but we'll try. And to give an idea right now, the consensus is that we wouldn't like no more than three stages, not really tracks, but stages. And we are thinking about a way of having more content curated by villages and have the village programs incorporated in the overall SHA program because that's one of the things of OHM we really liked and I hope you did as well. Okay, next one is the uh, sysadmins. I, see, I saw some of them already. Is that on Ian? Oh hi. Um, so we've been doing a lot of things behind this uh, behind the screens. Um, we are currently now with seven people. Um, we were a bit short uh, earlier, uh, which made that the the, uh, the request which were coming in took a little bit long to answer. We I think we solved that problem now. Um, well, we uh, just this morning deployed a new main website. Um, yeah, we're continue now on uh, wiki, public wiki, and uh, uh, solve the user requests. Yeah, basically. The awesome park. <laughs> okay, I will uh, I'll keep it really short. Um, we are currently about 10 people, but it's not really clear how, uh, how many people we are because we are, um, consist of three parts of the POC. The first part is the DEC team, the micro POC. The second team is the shady tail guys from the USA, which want to provide landline phones. And the third part is the chaos uh, vermittlung, uh, which provides field phones. Um, yeah, we've just started our planning, so this field day is very important for us. Um, but uh, the most uh, have to be clarified after this event. Yeah. <laughs> now it comes. Product house. <laughs> okay, um, there it is. So I'm Bix. Um, and we're production guys. Uh, we messed up the timing uh, this uh, afternoon, so sorry for that. Um, <laughs> something like that. Something like that. Um, uh, uh, production house does everything between stage and stream. <laughs> um, 
So um, we need uh, heralds, we need people who know AV, we need people, uh, basically everything. We're with 10, 15 people right now. We have help from uh, C3Vog. And uh, more people means uh, more sleep for us. <laughs> 50, 60. Okay, next is uh, infrastructure. Okay, um, well, uh, the team lead for power is uh, Timo, uh, but I didn't see him around, and I thought on the mailing list he said that he was on holiday. Um, so, uh, uh, Timo has been doing the power since, I think, uh, hacking in progress, um, and he said that he wanted to do uh, team lead again, but he didn't want to drag cables around. So, if you have uh, experience with dragging 64 amp cables around, then you should mail Timo. <laughs> if you think you're strong, then email him as well. Uh, or, or if you have experience with uh, designing uh, outdoor power things like this. Uh, 63, what? <laughs> I don't have the experience, so that's why he is the team lead and I'm not. Um, anyway. <laughs> So uh, for, uh, for the NOC, um, well, uh, we decided uh, a while ago that we just had some multiple team leads because um, the network is usually built by a group of 25 people. Uh, we've been uh, building networks at the CCC and uh, pretty much all uh, camps uh, starting uh, in 97. Um, well, if you have any experience, uh, mail us. Um, uh, and we'll see what we can do, but um, be aware that pretty much everyone wants to join the NOC, so um, we don't have a shortage on people there. So that was NOC and infrastructure. Next is the InfoDesk. Hi, folks. Uh, my name is Dwizzy. I'm with the InfoDesk. Uh, currently, we have uh, well at least four confirmed uh, volunteers, including myself. Uh, we're hoping on say uh, no more than ten people uh, during uh, this stage, and at the event we hope to have about fifty foot soldiers to constantly answer questions. So the people we're looking for now are um, uh, mainly helping us to uh, get the questions together and help answering them. Well, uh, well, the answering is basically two parts: answering one-to-one uh, -one and answering questions in advance by putting information on the website, wiki, whatever. Uh, especially, we're looking for people that are uh, into structuring information and people that have experience with answering questions, help desk software, social media, that stuff. Thank you, InfoDesk. The next one is a really heavy team. Uh, that is uh, the two teams of build up and take down. We'll start with build up. Okay, so uh, at the moment, uh, teams build up and tear down are mostly organized as one unit. We have about five people at the moment, which is uh, sufficient in terms of raw numbers. But what we would could really use is one more person who has experience building up Ohm or Har specifically. We have a lot of people here who have um, experience building up camps in general, but not uh, the Dutch camps specifically. So if there's anyone who could join us who has been here uh, for Ohm for a week during the build up or something like that, that would be really useful. You also take somebody who has done the build up or take down on the CCC camp? We have those, but but more specific uh, experience would be helpful. If n not strictly necessary, but... Okay, that's it. No, let's do that at the end. So, now we have a project, which is the badge. And as we have a project here, let me explain that really quick, uh, what the difference between a team and a project is. Uh, it basically burns down to if you're a team, the people on the team are exclusively on this team. Uh, so you're not on two teams. Uh, on projects, you can be on one, two, three, four, five, ten, twelve projects. Also, even though if we expect that quite some of the projects will 
two people of the project will also do this exclusively. The other uh, difference is that for teams, we actually hope that uh, at least one person of the team will show up on the Mumble meeting that we have twice from uh, every other week. So, batch. Yes, Our projects are safe to fill. So you're not blocking yourself for uh, a team later. So if you decide to sign up for a project, uh, you're not. that's not exclusive. You're not blocking yourself for a team. So. Uh, I'm Kartoffel, the team lead for the uh, batch project. Currently, we are about six people. Um, that is sufficient for most work. We might need one or two more, specifically someone who can help us uh, get sponsorship, since we're trying to get all of the components sponsored. So if anyone has experience or would like to get experience by helping us, then uh, please uh, tell me. Thank you. Thank you. Next is a rather intense team, which will be the villagers and the micromanagement of them. Hello. <laughs> Mike, Mike. Hello. Uh, most people know me as uh, Webmind. Uh, I am uh, doing uh, villages. Uh, at the moment, we're about two and a bit people. Uh, we would like about maybe three more, and during the event itself, we'll need some more people for running around. Uh, at the moment, what uh, we're working on is like the the wiki and like the questions we need to ask for the villagers. So what we need is from all the other teams is what do you need to know from the villagers? What information do you have, or if you have information for the villagers, but also if you need to know stuff from them, like how much power they need or whatever. So if you have any of this information, please contact us. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll be micromanaging the villages. So we'll be the main communication between villages and the rest of the uh, teams. So villages will contact us and we'll contact you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next up, logistics. Thank you. Hello, I'm Knori, one of the team leads of logistics. Logistics is all about moving stuff to, on and from the terrain. And there are uh, some. Uh, there are uh, almost six sub teams uh, in the team wiki. You can look up a lot of information about logistics. So I'm not repeating that here. We have about seven to eight people now in the team for like full-time uh, dedicated uh, people who work on logistics. And what we really need is another uh, sub team lead to take on the job of organizing uh, transports to and from the terrain, so that not every team has to rent a uh, truck but that we can combine all transports and we need still need somebody for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tickets and entrance. Is anybody here from that team? Okay, then next we'll just take finance because there is somebody here. My name is Zara. Um, well, I'm part of finance. We're now with about uh, three people, and we're sh in a startup phase. So, not sure how many people we'll we will be needing. So, if we do need some, we'll let you know. So, that's it. About <laughs> okay. Then we have uh, communications, um, which is Breno. Well, yeah, I'm Breno, but uh, it's not Breno. It's um, we're currently with um, um, b between three and five people. That's still a bit vague, and we really need at least three people extra and somebody uh, who wants to step up as team lead. So um, find that, and there is an s a second team, and that's called Safe Harbor. Uh, as you might have noticed, we have got places for boats. And you can make that an awesome cool place. I'm talking uh, captain's lounge. Uh, lounge. Um, stay there with a boat that you rent or have or whatever. Um, so um, we also need people for that. And um, of course we need a million people, but three or four extra would already satisfy us. Okay. The next team would be family village. When we have somebody here from that. We do. Awesome. Hi, I'm Jelena. Yes. 
I had uh, I had made a list with a question, and I will send that by mail to everyone to know how many children we will have. I get uh, like three, four people who will maybe work or send things we do working like uh, workshops with children. And I need uh, I'm alone, so I need a few more people who can help a uh, little bit with contacts, but also uh, during the camp to can. Uh, see how it's uh, everything's going thank you very much so the next team is uh, the bar team that will uh, hopefully get us uh, rid of some club mate and uh, give us an awesome drinks there Hi. we're team bar um, we have the bar in the back now and uh, we're planning to do the bar at the event the planning is to have uh, three bars with uh, different themes. Uh, volunteers, we're currently uh, with four people, and we need at least six people with a uh, certification for social hygiene, and about 30 volunteers a day, because we want to keep the shifts uh, not too long, so that people can enjoy the event as well. Yeah. That's it about it. Thank you. And then I think we have one last team, which is uh, the safety and security team. And I should say that uh, the decoration team, or excuse for the decoration team, that they don't have a sign. I'm sorry. We need something else for you then. Ah, I got stolen. I see. The security uh, sign got stolen. That's good. Okay. All right. Um, my name is Cave Dude. Um, are we doing the safety and security team? Um, I currently have three people, uh, which actually are on my team, and my dad, uh, who has done a previous event with uh, 25,000 people for security, so he's helping me out. Um, I need more people with uh, first aid, um, maybe people who know something about fire and how to put them out, so you can help me secure the terrain. Um, we're also looking into uh, the safety uh, team and the security for hiring people, so if you're into that, look me up. And I need lots of information from all the teams to put in the big stack of paperwork we got from the municipality. So, thank you. Then, I don't know if anybody's here from the launch team. Is anybody here from the launch team? I haven't seen anybody. It does exist. There is rough plans. Uh, they need some more people. Um, but at the moment, uh, the first question was the terrain. So they wanted to be on the field day and look where we can put a launch. We'll see about that. Okay, uh, one more last team, I think. And that is Permit. And uh, you're jumping in for your one here. So uh, for this all to happen, we need a nice booklet with a lot, a lot, a lot of regulations, which they're going to renew in January with more questions and more things they know. It's insane, it's 22 pages of questions and we need to all answer them correctly, like 100% score. And they also need maps with them and they also need everything, like uh, enough staff for uh, security stuff and, and, and a lot more. So that's that's the whole thing, it's, it ties everything together. Um, there's like two, three people working on that now, um, uh, led by Jeroen, we, who's not here. He's uh, becoming dad for the second time, and he's also moving, so that's <laughs> so he's a bit busy. Um, it looks solid. We need to have this document somewhere two or three months in advance, so uh, it's pretty fine as we're doing now, mapping and such, so it's good. So, that was the introduction of the team. It's 15-12 uh, or something now, um, which means that given that we have started roughly 20 minutes late, we are very good on the time. So the next thing coming is actually us walking the site. So uh, there are some rules in there. Um, stay away from the lab people because they have actually rented an, uh, this site and pay for it. 
Um, also, please don't leave any garbage. Um, if you bring anything on the way, don't let the Club Mater bottle stand next to the uh, way where we walk or anything like that. But I think that should be self-understanding. We have partly a plan for walking around, which basically means we want to see most of this area. There is one thing here that we can go over the dike. So the plan will be to go up here over the dike, walk the area at the water in the beginning. This area is closed. This is closed? Yeah. Okay. This until where? Basically, yeah, there, there are some fence, all that fence, and then okay. Um, this is the lab area, I think. This is lab area. Okay. So we will see over there and then see how much this is still up and then we can see this, walk around here, here, see this, and come back here. Does anybody think that's a bad idea? <laughs> we need to be back at six. Yeah. We have we need to be back at six. It's now three fifteen, so we have two hours and forty five minutes ish for the walk. Yes. We'll gather. Uh, so the question was, uh, will there be a chance to ask questions? Yes, there will be a ch chance uh, chance to ask questions. We'll meet here again at roughly 6-ish to have a short discussion before we talk with the scouting people at 6.30. Yeah. Then we'll have food, then we'll have the fire, and then and there is in the plan the discussion of what is the Dutch hacker camp and the long discussion we had on the mailing list regarding having people of the government involved in any way. <laughs> I kind of foresee that we'll all be busy with looking at the uh, camp and talking about the campsite, but I also would like to point out that uh, we from Sanity would like that problem to be solved. We don't think that is a Sanity problem, that's a problem of the whole community. And uh, we can't answer that, so if the whole community there has one unique answer for that, then we should discuss that later that we get to an agreement because it's not really uh, we'd like to have one set of rules and not have to undo old decisions uh, from time to time okay thank you very much I think we'll I think we'll start with the walk around in roughly five minutes so uh, let's meet out there in five minutes so you can visit a tree or something